begin with a developing international crisis. President Trump sending out an ominous warning tonight after Iran shot down an American drone. Congressional leaders were just brief moments ago. Let's get right to our D.C. Bureau Chief Ross Palumbo live now at the White House with much more of our top story at 6. Ross. Well, Calvin and Nicole, congressional leaders are speaking out after meeting with the president here at the White House in the Situation Room. Both Republicans and Democrats now on the same page, both saying they want a strategic and measured response. As for where the president stands tonight, we still don't know. Iran now claiming this is the very missile that destroyed a U.S. drone similar to this one. The smoke trail caught on the drone's own camera before impact. How will you respond? You'll find out. The president refusing to outline a response after Iran claimed the drone had crossed into their airspace. Iran made a big mistake. Uh, this drone was in international waters, clearly. We have it all documented. The head of its Revolutionary Guard saying they're sending a message of how it will deal with foreign aggression. We are completely ready for war. The U.S. Defense Department, though, releasing this map, pinpointing the drone outside of Iran and in the Strait of Hormuz. This was an unprovoked attack on a U.S. surveillance asset that had not violated Iranian airspace at any time during its mission. After earlier tweeting, Iran made a very big mistake. The Iran president mistake. later clarifying that he meant that literally. I find it hard to believe it was intentional, if you want to know the truth. I think that it could have been somebody who was uh, loose and stupid that did it. I don't think the president wants to go to war. There's no appetite for going to war in our country. But if the president decides to strike back, South Florida's Marco Rubio tweeting, the president doesn't need congressional authorization to defend our nation against attacks. Some Republicans are already calling for a military response. Doing nothing has its own consequence. It is very interesting tonight that Senator Marco Rubio believes the president does not need congressional approval because Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi just moments ago from the Hill saying that the president does in fact need that approval. Calvin and Nicole, as for what the president believes tonight, the White House is not saying. All of us watching closely, Ross Palumbo Live for us at the White House. And for more on the Iran crisis and analysis on the Pentagon's next move, stay with Local 10 and World News tonight at 630.